Alright, what's good, my giggity giggity gangsters? Uh, so, real quick, this is gonna be my last video that I'm not in school for. Like, this is the end of my summer break. So, expect uploads to now be a little bit more far in between since I'm starting school back up tomorrow. So, I just decided to shoot out one last video for the summer and then we'll kick off Spirit Halloween and all that cool stuff and prop unboxings and Halloween night and cool stuff. But, Today, I'm giving my opinions on the 2021 lineup for Spirit. I know this is a long overdue video. I get it, yeah, but that's just how it, that's just how we do it on the Mystic Army on Haunts channel. We take a long time to do stuff, and then when we do it, we do it fashionably late. So real quick, uh, thank you to Jane's video for making it, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. So... Starting off is Beetlejuice. Now, I'm gonna have to just smack him in C tier because, yeah, he's cool. He kind of looks cool. He sounds cool. The audio is like straight from the movie, which I love. It's not an impersonator. But the one thing I don't like is that he's forgettable and just how he looks and how stiffly he moves. It just doesn't look organic and it looks dumb, in my opinion. But, but he sounds cool and he. He looks kind of true to the real juice. Next up is the caretaker, uh, C tier, because I don't like the knobby knees. Uh, so I don't like the knobby knees. Uh, his animation's okay, it's fluid, and I like that. But it looks like he's doing curls with a shovel, you know? Uh, he looks good. I like the face, and I like the tombstone. The tombstone actually has writing on it, which is pretty cool. Um, I just don't like the knees, and the phrases are a little generic. Now, if he were released last year, I would have loved that guy. But he wasn't. He was released this year, meaning he's kind of he shut down. Next up is Henry Hustle. Now, I like Henry Hustle a lot. I love the phrases. I love how he looks. I love the animation. I love how fluid the animation is. That's really good. But the one thing that kind of bugs me about him, or the two things, is that he pops up real slow, and I think he started slipping at flagship, and also uh, his height. If the height comparison on the website that has his popped up head at like four feet, if that's true, then that's going to be at like one of the biggest letdowns ever. But other than that, he looks pretty cool, and yeah, he's just pretty cool. I like his animation, and the phrases. The phrases are really good. Wacky Mole S tier, love it. It's the exact same thing as the old one, except the head's now latex, and the only squishy parts on the latex that could get partially deformed, I guess, are the dimples at the end of a smile and the eyebrows, but that's it. Other than that, he looks great. I love him. I plan on getting him. So Night Stalker, D tier. The lap's okay. A little too short. I don't like how cartoony he looks, I guess. He looks like... Um, the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz, which I know a bunch of other people have made that point, but still, I'm going to say it again. He looks like the Scarecrow from Wizard, Wizard of Oz. Um, his audio, it sounds good, but I think after a while it's going to get a little annoying. Um, also, he's only 5 foot and he's $180, which is kind of bugging me. I think they should have at least added like a crow on the bar that he's hung on, the wood beam. There we go. They should have added a crow that maybe moves its head or something like that. I don't know. Just add more to it if it's going to be $180. I mean, yeah, back to the laugh. The laugh's cool, but, like, it just doesn't justify $180. So next up is Buzzsaw. I'm going to smack him in A tier. Actually, no, B tier. Um, B tier because I like stuff better than him, but then there's stuff that's worse than him, in my opinion. Like, so he's almost middle of the pack, but he's in front of the middle of the pack, if you know what I mean. Um, and he's, he's cool, alright? The animation's pretty cool, audio's cool, I mean, one, some of the phrases are a little corny. Um, and I like that he's different, and the fact that he's like a larger fellow, but hey, um, I don't, I don't care. He just looks cool. Not, just not my favorite. Bottom line, just not my favorite. Okay, Mr. Howell, A tier. After seeing that he's a woe you prop and knowing that woe you like to self destruct, you know, after a while, it just kind of bumped it down a little bit. He looks cool, he sounds cool. Just, I don't know. 
the reliability is kind of the major issue for me. That bumped him down from S tier to A tier. Um, yeah, I, I, just not much to say about him. Cool werewolf, really tall. He looks awesome. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so Grim. I'm, I'm kidding. B tier. He's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know what's doing it, like, wrong for me. I think it's the speaker quality that's kind of killing it. That Just a tad bit for me. But... Other than that, that's the only thing I can think of. He looks cool. The animation's nice. Um, I just... I, there's just stuff that's better than him, in my opinion. And, yeah, I get it. He's a service, but, like, that's not going to completely sell him. You know, I, I kind of... I like the Inferno Reaper at Home Depot just a little bit more than him. But I like his animation better than the Inferno Reaper. If that makes sense. Okay, Shorty. Uh, B tier. He's cool. Just not my favorite. Again, just like Grim and Buzzsaw. Just cool, but not my favorite. I want to see him in stores because people are saying he's absolutely huge compared to everything else, but I don't know. We'll wait and see. He's cool, though. Um, Ghostface, B tier. Actually, C tier. Because, like, the animation's cool. He looks cool. I mean, the hood kind of looks a little cheap sometimes if you pose it incorrectly. And stuff like that. He's just too short, knowing that he's the height of the Huntress, not a little bit shorter, and that kind of bothers me a bit, you know? Actually, I'm going to change the category real quick from bad to... There we go. But yeah, he's cool. Um, I just think he could have been bigger. You know? I mean, the audio is nice, but... Very D tier. He was cool when he came out. Boring now, because look at all this other stuff that came out. He's just boring. I even forgot he existed, matter of fact. Grave grabbing corpse. They didn't need to bring him back. Um, he's not even spirit exclusive. I don't know why they brought him back. I I wonder if they just brought him back for like a giggle. Headless Jack. B tier. Okay, listen, hear me out. He's cool looking. He looks awesome. I heard he's massive. The audio's cool. I like the Pumpkin Guardian of the Grave audio, and apparently the new phrase. I haven't heard the new phrase yet, but other than that, he looks cool. Two hundred eighty. The two hundred eighty dollar price tag bugs me though, which kind of knocked him down to B tier. Other than that, pretty solid prop. Even though he's static, he's cool. Ophelia. People are gonna hate me for this, but S tier. I like it. She looks kind of cheap, and not cheap, but fake. But that's the only thing that I hate, or hate, despise about the prop, or just kind of, you know, I just don't like it. I don't like the fact that she looks cheap. Other than that, I love the audio, I love the eye movement, I love, um, the animation of the ghoul is better than I expected. It's more fluent, you know, and it's not as choppy. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Just good prop. Baphomet, automatic S tier. Love this guy. Love the animation. Love the love the size. Love the audio. I love everything. I love the way he looks. He's just awesome. Um, W Wraith C tier. It's a ghost prop. I mean, yeah, it, it it's cool, but like, it's a ghost prop. Mister Dark S tier again. Very cool. Love the animation. Love the audio. The price is. Chef's kiss, it's amazing. Uh, he's all metal, which is yet again another chef's kiss. It's just amazing. Uh, apparently, he's huge in person too. So yeah, well, we'll just wait and see. But you know. ice cream clowns, I don't know. I don't know what they do. Harriet, I'm gonna get some hate for this, but I'm gonna put her in. Yeah, B tier. She looks cool. Animation's a little slow, in my opinion. Not the head turning, but the swinging. It's just a tad bit too slow. And the audio can get a little annoying. She could have done more. I wanted her to be like a menacing Molly type thing. That would have been really, really cool. Uh, but, I mean, she does what she does. and It's okay. Evelyn Leech. C tier. I mean, the okay, so listen. The head she holds looks kind of cheesy, right? Uh, her animation, she only does one thing, and that's lift it up. Lifts up the head. Uh, the, the, the face looks good. Um, I like the detail on it for her face, Evelyn's face. But her groom's head is just not doing it for me. And she's $200 and 5 feet tall. And her only audio is the head gasping. And her lifting, or not 
the audio, but hold on, give me a minute. Okay, so the only audio is her crying and the head gasping. That's it. And the only animation is her lifting the head up and down. I don't think that's worth $200, especially with the height, her only being five foot. Just not worth it. But she's cool. She looks cool. Bloody bag. I want to say I don't know yet because I don't know if they did anything to him, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put him in uh, A tier because I like the original bloody bag. I think he's really cool. I love the animation and the audio. It's just great. And I cannot wait to see the new one. He looks exactly like the old one and he does the exact same thing as the old one. And I'm, I'll bet you guys the exact same phrases. Um, I don't know yet. Okay, Experiment 4, C tier. It's cool, it's a budget prop. I'm not getting it, though. And it just seems tiny. Like, if it were bigger, or if it were, like, another creature, it may have been bumped up a little bit. But eh, it's just too tiny, and it's not really noticeable. But the audio sounds okay, and it looks kind of cool. And the hand's nice. But it's just not on par, in my opinion, with um, Barry and Grape Grabber. I think it's better than these three, so I just bumped them up. Okay, um, the Pennywise sewer grate, I don't know if I want to put him in D tier or D tier or C tier. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I'm a little tired, uh, so everything's kind of foggy. I'm gonna pop him in C tier. Hear me out, alright? The audio's good, it's good quality. I like the way the sewer grate looks. I don't like how Pennywise looks, and I don't like the fact that it's a Pennywise. I think it should have been some other creature, like, um, Hanformer said it should have been, like, an alligator or something like that, which would have been awesome, but I was thinking more like a rotting zombie with sludge coming off of it or something like that. That would have been so cool, man. That would have been, like, made it an automatic, like, A or S tier if it were, like, a zombie or something like that and it had unique audio. Automatic bump up. But since it's a Pennywise, it got bumped down a bit since we've seen so many Pennywises, and we've seen a freaking, like, pop-up Pennywise. We saw one last year, dude with the life-size Pennywise, and then we see this one this year, and, I mean, the head looks like a potato, too, so I don't have much to say about it. But yeah, that's gonna kind of do it for this. My S tier, just if you're listening to the video, S tier is Wacky, Ophelia, Baphomet, and uh, Mr. Dark. A tier is Bloody Bag, Henry, and Mr. Howell. B tier, shut up. B tier is Buzzsaw, Grim, um, Shorty, my bad, Smiling Jack, no, it's not Smiling Jack, I think it is Smiling, Headless Jack, Headless Jack, my bad, uh, and then Harriet, C tier is Beetlejuice, Caretaker, Ghostface, W Wraith, Evelyn Leach, Experiment 4 and Pennywise. D tier is Night Stalker, Barry, and Grave Grabber, and I don't know yet is the Ice Cream Clowns. That's gonna call it for this video. Um, stay tuned. I, I think my next video is probably gonna be either the props on the website or me doing a Spirit Halloween tour on Saturday, I think? Sunday? I don't know yet. But we'll see when the time comes. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, bye.